<laughs> hey there. Out here on Cape Cod, um, you know, uh, peak color has, has hit. Maybe we're a little past, I don't know. It's, uh, it's looking a little rusty. Yesterday it was absolutely full on. You know, somebody just turned the, the lights on and uh, color was just banging everywhere. Um, today I'm out here looking for uh, some woodland compositions. You know, see if I can uh, practice some uh, of my, my, what do they call it? Intimate compositions, intimate, I don't know. I don't know what all the, the uh, YouTube landscapers are now calling these, these woodland shots. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those fun things where you're out here and you're, you're trying to, it's a lot of chaos, a lot of chaos out here in the, take a look around. Um, there's a lot of chaos and, and, and noise in the woods. So, so finding a good composition um, where things are isolated and have a defined character and defined subject can be a little bit difficult sometimes. So uh, that's what I'm out here to do. I'm gonna find something, I'm gonna use color, I'm gonna use light, I'm gonna use all the tricks of the trade to, uh, to isolate some subjects. Right now I'm looking around like a kid in a candy store. Where, 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 ooh, that's a nice trait, what? <laughs> all right, so uh, let's, uh, I'm just gonna keep going and uh, I got a good walk ahead of me. I'm gonna enjoy the morning out here and uh, get some shots. I wanna talk a little bit about um, my last video, uh, the trip to Vermont, 2020 trip to Vermont. Um, and uh, you know, I cut short. When I was editing it, I just kind of came up with the revelation, you know, my shooting style has become, well, not my style, my, my process has been in search for comfort. And uh, that includes, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting from my truck, like I'm driving in as close as I can in my truck, staying with my nice heated seats and, and um, you know, looking for compositions out the window instead of getting out and really attacking the, the landscape and the photography the way I, I usually do or what I, I used to do. And I realized I've been constantly looking for comfort and, and areas where I'm not going to have surprises. And, you know, obviously I'm trying to get rid of negative surprises. It's, it's, it's not the positive surprises I'm trying to get rid of, but it's the negative ones that, you know, might pop up and, and, oh, I may invest all this time into searching around this, this mountain or lake and, you know, maybe I won't find a composition. So I'm going to do it in the car so that I can move quickly and, and reevaluate quickly and move on to the next thing so I can make sure to find it. And um, that just doesn't work. Like, I, I can't be searching out comfort. I, I need to, I know it's cliche to say you got to get out of your comfort zone, but when you say that, you got to get out of all your comforts. You know, maybe that means wearing shorts in November. No, it's, uh, you know, it, it means getting up early. It's, it's um, getting out, even if it's a little cold. You know, maybe you're not having your first cup of coffee. You, you know, you're just getting out there and grinding. You know, see, if, see what you can make. Um, you know, it's walking instead of shooting from the car. You don't have to have all this time to, to set up your photography shots, Rob. Maybe you just set up, um, on the fly when you see the light come. You know, trust your instincts. I know, I gotta get out there, I gotta. So now I'm really pushing myself, not only to, you know, take these little steps into being um, out of my comfort zone, but looking for opportunities to get out of my comfort zone, pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I think that is really the, the key here. Um, maybe turning my back if it looks like something's too comfortable. Because what kind of results do I expect to get if I'm just 
doing what's comfortable. Because that comfort zone is gonna get smaller and smaller and more comfortable and more comfortable. And then I'm gonna be shooting the same thing over and over. I, I used to shoot people. Um, no, <laughs> I used to shoot people. No, I used to photograph people. Um, I've had multiple businesses that, that were based on portrait and, and wedding and event and this and that. And uh, I, I came to the realization that I'm not a people person. So while I was getting good result, great results, and uh, was, was, you know, a lot of people really liked what I was doing, um, and, and my clientele was growing, had a great successful business, I just was so drained from it. And I was like, oh my God, the, just dealing with people like for a whole night and like all this, it's overwhelming for an introvert. And uh, I was like, well, I'm just gonna stop shooting people. I'm gonna get on landscape. I'm gonna focus, you know, I'm represented in a gallery. I'm, I'm gonna focus on that. I'm gonna focus on my phone, fine art and my landscape. And, and you know what? Um, I did and things moved forward, but, but I feel it's not that I can't take photos of people. It's just, I don't know. I'm not feeling, um, I feel like I'm, I, I put a blockade up and now I just don't take photos of people. I don't, so it's weird. So there's a comfort zone thing. So now I'm, I'm going to go out and I'm going to shoot people. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to shoot people. No, I'm going to photograph people. So, uh, yeah, it's just one of those things, one of those places where I've, I've limited myself because I wanted to stay in my comfort zone. Anyway, check out this nonsense. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's something. All right, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get a photo here uh, by this lake. Um, I got, looks like I got um, two really nice um, trees on either side of this uh, kind of boat launch area I don't know it's a natural boat launch and uh, let's see what I can frame the the pond is super super calm so we'll get some great reflections too all right let's keep moving on I uh, I did it again here I am uh, I'm out here I'm, I'm shooting well first off I said I was gonna be shooting woodland and I ended up at a pond but it was pretty beautiful so I had to make the stop but uh, I said I'm going to get out of my comfort zone. What do I do? I go to my comfortable shot. I go to the composition that is, well, it's kind of like the way I shoot with the tilt shift, even though I'm not shooting with the tilt shift. I'm just kind of lining things up. I'm going head on the uh, one point perspective shot of the lake. And, um, you know, that's comfortable for me. So, but this time I'm doing it just to get it out of the way. So, okay, it's cleared my head. I got the shot. Now let's move on. Let's find some why am I doing this with my hand? It's like the YouTube hand. It's like, it's like thing. Um, anyway, uh, so it's to get it out of the way. It's to know I got that shot and kind of clear my head. And now I'm going to find uncomfortable compositions. Uh, maybe it's not on the lake. I want to get back into the woods. I want to shoot the, the kind of stuff I, I came out here to shoot. Um, I'm just going to look around and see if there's anything that's jumping. It's got some character. I don't see it. All right, I'm gonna move on. Um, I did get that shot. It's gonna be pretty, um, but pretty but predictable. All right, let's uh, let's keep moving. All right, I walked past my turn. I wasn't even thinking. I had my head in the clouds. No, I was I was actually thinking. Um, you know, this whole get out of my comfort zone thing. You know, I've talked about. And I've kind of had this desire for, for over a year, this is before the, the pandemic uh, hit, was to simplify my kit. Um, so it was simple and lighter and wasn't complicated because I felt I was getting into like so many technical questions when I get out into the field and you know, all these different lens choices and, and whatnot. And, which is great and it gives me options. And I was like, oh, I'm thinking more about that than I am about reflecting on, on nature and, and what's around me and getting, getting the photos that I want. 
And now that I'm thinking about it, is am I am I looking? Am I trying to be comfortable? Is is that pursuit just too comfortable? I have faith in choosing lenses. I've been doing it for decades now. Um, I know my lenses. I know my filters. I know camera settings. Why am I trying to simplify it? Like, what's the pursuit there? Is I, I'm trying to get. I think I'm just trying to get. I'm trying to make myself too comfortable. This is it. I'm. It's it's over and over. I'm finding this theme. So to improve my my photography, I'm pushing myself in all directions out of com comfort. Um, if something seems comfortable, I'm gonna try and not do it. <laughs> like, I think that's the only way to break this bad habit. Let's, uh, all right, let's, let's find some woodland stuff. Jeez, I'm walking around and I'm, I'm gonna get this. Gonna get stuff, it's gonna be fun. Cool. So I found this um, this cool dead tree here, and it's got like this spiral pattern all around it. But uh, I just can't figure out a composition for it. So uh, I'm kind of pass it off and, and and see if I can come back at another time. The issue I'm having is everything else around here is getting hit with light, and this guy is in the dark. Um, so, I mean, I'm trying to look for, you know, you want to have like that one tree in the middle of the forest with just a spotlight on it and, you know, oh, that's going to, to um, extract your, your character, your, um, your subject, like your subject will be very definitive in, in that woodland shot. But it, it doesn't look like um, this guy doesn't look, just looking where the, the sun is, it doesn't look like that's going to happen on this tree. But I'm gonna put this one, um, I'm gonna remember this guy, because I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna figure out a way to shoot him. Um, it may be sunset, maybe, maybe having uh, uh, light over there will give me a better product. Uh, one thing too, you see this, this tilt, you definitely wanna capture that. So that removes any compositions from here or from up there because while you know that it's tilting, oops, while, while you know that it's tilting, the, um, the finished photo, it would be a vertical element. Um, so I don't want to shoot it uphill down or downhill up. I want to definitely be shooting across the hill so I can see the tilt. Um, and also, I mean, the texture on this thing is just, just beautiful. Um, all right, well, I'm going to keep looking for more compositions. Um, they're out there. It's, uh, it's challenging here on the Cape. It is. Um, maybe that's why there aren't a lot of uh, woodland photographs from Cape Cod. <laughs> All right, gonna keep keep looking. All right, so um, I kind of found this nice little hollow here. Uh, it's got this beautiful red underbrush, um, and contrasting that with the lichen on these trees, which is green, um, I thought it might make uh, an interesting, I, definitive subject. Um, and that's what I've been strugg struggling with out here um, is is finding definitive. Subjects inside all of this chaos. Um, a lot of patterns on Cape Cod, but but uh, this is uh, this is the tricky part. Another um, compositional element that I like in in this um, little hollow is the uh, we have a low angle to the sun, so shadows are being cast from these very straight pine trees, and um, since we kind of have a little bit of a hill and. This area, we're, we're getting some interesting shapes in the shadows and uh, defining basically the rise and the fall and the gradual uh, transitions of this area. Um, yeah, 
just another thing I'm looking for. My, you know, brain's starting to, to uh, really make those, those creative decisions um, and, and finding things that are, are, are breaking the norm and um, will help me isolate uh, patterns and characters and subjects and uh, yeah so I think this this could be an interesting little thing I'm not expecting this to be an amazing photo but I think it's gonna be a good one okay I gotta tell you I picked the hardest subject to get out of my comfort zone I mean seriously Intimate woodland photography, oh my God, it is, it is tough. It is really tough to, to um, find subject matter that can be definitive in this just chaotic realm of, of leaves and sticks and branches and, and you know, just finding something with character that really stands out and you know, tells a super clear story in your photo. So, I'm still hitting it, just, uh, just gotta let you know guys, every once in a while, even I struggle. All right, let's find something. 